Hello everyone. Welcome to Today in this video tutorial, we will learn about the host pathogen interaction part second. Myself, Dr. Rajendra Balasar Pakade, Department of Botany, Swami Vivekananda Senior College Manta, District Jalna. Friends, in my previous video tutorial, we have already discussed host pathogen interaction with respect to defense mechanism in plant. In our previous video, we have discussed about the defense mechanism in plant comes under the host pathogen interaction. Now, in this video tutorial, we will discuss host pathogen interaction with respect to disease development in plant. Friends, as we all know, the disease development Plant disease production is not a simple process, but involves many steps and that inculcate with the critical issues. There are seven major events that occur in host pathogen interaction. During the host pathogen interaction, the list of seven major events are given here. The first event, inoculation, then penetration. Penetration is followed by the infection of the pathogen to the host, then invasion of the pathogen, reproduction of the pathogen, dissemination means spreading of the pathogen, then survival of the pathogen. So under this seven head or under this seven event, we will discuss the disease development that means the host pathogen interaction with respect to the disease development into the host. First of all, we will see the disease triangle in most books of the plant pathology. The disease triangle is beautifully described. The first of all, this is published by the scientist Stevens in 1960. The scientist referred it as the existence of disease caused by biotic agent that absolutely required the interaction of a susceptible host. Then there must be a virulent pathogen and favorable environmental condition. Then, then and then only disease will develop. This is the disease triangle. For the development of any kind of disease, there is requirement of the three things. First, pathogen means fungi, maybe bacteria, maybe viruses or nematode or mycoplasma should be virulent one. Virulent means the ability of causing disease. Then the host should be susceptible one. That means the host should be felt prone to the disease. Then environment should be favorable for the disease development. Then what things that comes under the environment? There should be proper temperature or favorable temperature. And soil temperature should be favorable for disease development. Then soil must be fertile. Then pH, rainfall, these all things are come under the favorable environment. Means development of any kind of disease, there must be a virulent pathogen, susceptible host, and favorable environmental condition, then and then only disease will develop. As we already discussed, three factors there must be present for the any disease that uh, that uh, to occur. If any of these three aspect or any of these three things is missing, then disease will not occur. If susceptible host is absent, disease will not occur. If virulent pathogen is absent, disease will not occur. And if suitable environment is not there, that condition also disease will not occur. Then, therefore, for the development of any kind of disease, there is requirement of all these three aspects. Then, the seven major event that will occur during the disease development, the first event is inoculation. It is a process by which pathogen come in contact with its host. Inoculation means the initial contact of pathogen with the site of plant where infection is possible. The pathogen that lands or bring into the contact with the plant is called as the inoculum. Then types of inoculum. There are actually two types of inoculum. Primary inoculum and secondary inoculum. Then what is primary inoculum? Inoculum that survives dormant in off-season and originate 
infection during the crop season is called as primary inoculum and the infection caused due to the primary inoculum is called as primary infection then what is secondary inoculum or secondary infection an inoculum produced from primary infection is called a secondary inoculum after the primary infection if the infection will develop or if inoculation is occur that inoculation is called as secondary inoculum inoculum and infection is called as secondary infection then what are the source of inoculum different different source of inoculum given here in the soil which is a very rich home of numerous microbes bacteria present in the soil that are also the source of inoculum then fungus most of the diseases of the plant diseases is produced by this uh, pathogen which are dwelling into the soil then infected plant parts after the harvesting of the any crop if there is a debris is debris is remained into the field then it is also the source of inoculum infected plant parts also seed may be infected that also causes the disease or act as a source of inoculum then cuttings pathogenic cuttings then bulbs corns potato tubers then this also act as a source of inoculum are called as a infected plant parts then debris debris of the suppose if a particular plant say for example tomato infected with the alternaria and if the tomato harvested tomato crop is harvested then after harvesting of this tomato crop the disease debris if remain into the field then the crop which is cultivated after the harvesting of this previous crop then that new crop should also infected by this disease debris therefore care must be taken by the farmer complete eradication of the disease debris from the field then alternate host the alternate host means if the natural host is absent then alternate host act as a new home for the pathogen then collateral host collateral host may be act as a new host for the viruses then powder mill do pathogens here some diagrams or figures are given of this source of inoculum here bacteria bacteria spores fungal spores that affect with the pathogen then different seeds cuttings are also given here corns tubers are also given that all act as a source of inoculum the next event that occur during the disease development that is penetration penetration means insertion of the pathogen into the host or the entry of the pathogen into the host this process is divided into pathogens penetrated plant surface by direct penetration of the cell wall or through a natural opening this penetration it take place by two ways the pathogen may directly enter into the host through the plant cell wall or pathogen may get direct entry into the host by the natural opening natural opening are nothing but the stomata and lenticel in my previous video lecture we detail discussed about this penetration phenomena most of the fungi penetrate through one of these ways bacteria enter in plants mostly through wounds whereas viruses and virus are on protozoa enter through the wounds made by the vector <coughs> vectors may be here aphids thrips that initially puncture the host for the absorption of the juice then wound get develop or opening get develop and through this opening developed by this vectors the viruses get entry into the host and they they get spread into the host parasitic higher plant enter into the host by direct penetration as we know the cuspid of plant that is parasitic plant directly enter into the host then nematodes enter plant directly or sometimes for the natural open these are the different different modes of penetration is given here direct penetration by the production of fasturia fasturia absorb fasturia actually the knob like structure or pin like structure developed by the 
fungal mycelium to absorb the nutrition from the host tissue then uh, spore may produce the germ tube that germ tube enter into the host then penetration for the nasal opening stomata or lenticels or hydrothoods are the nasal opening through this nasal openings the host get entry into the host cell then by development of the wounds the fungal spores or hyphae produces the different types of their metabolites that dissolve the host tissue and uh, produces the bonds on them and in this way they ramify pathogen ramify into the host cell <coughs> and next event of the disease development host pathogen interaction we are studying this host pathogen interaction with respect to the disease resistance and next event of this disease resistance is infection it is actually the process by which pathogen established contact with the susceptible cells or the tissue of the host and procure or derive nutrient from them in other terms means in other word infection is the establishment of the organic relationship between the pathogen and the susceptible cell of the host it is called as a infection now we will see the types of the infection after the successful infection of the pathogen then host develop the different different types of the symptoms symptoms may be the discolor here we can see the downy mildew disease on grape wine the the green area of the leaf due to the attack of the pathogen of the downy mildew there is a development of the discolored portion then malform here we can see the normal shape of the leaf get changed or malform due to the attack of the pathogen here on this uh, leaf host we can see the necrotic spots are developed onto the leaf due to the attack of or due to the infection of the pathogen some infection remain latent means temporary but it do not produce symptoms right away but at the latter they appear during the favorable environment condition and suitable host some pathogen show the latent infection that means that uh, that infection are not permanent or temporary but after the return of the favorable condition favorable environmental condition that latent infection may develop into the permanent infection <coughs> then next step of the host pathogen interaction that means this is development that is next event is invasion invasion means take control over the spread of pathogen into the host are called as a invasion spreading of the any kind of pathogen into the host is called as a invasion various pathogen invade host in different different ways now we will see the what are the different ways by which the pathogen invade onto the host the first invasion way is ectoparasite ecto means out when pathogenic fungi produce mycelium only on the surface of the plant but send hosteria into the epidermal cell for example powdery mildew pathogen is given here is a cleistothecium cleistothecium means the closed protein body of this uh, pathogen this powdery mildew uh, on cucurbit is caused due to the podosphera pathogen here development of the protein body cleistothecium closed the protein body and inside this closed the protein body development of the acai and into the uh, acai we can see here development of the ascospores actually in each acai eight ascospores are developed here we can see the mycelium develop the hosterium the superficial superficial means only epidermal cell up to the epidermal cell the infection is there that's why it is that parasite is ectoparasite <clears throat> then we will see endoparasite some fungi produce mycelium that grow only in the area between cuticle and the epidermis endoparasite means the pathogen produces the mycelium that mycelium ramify only between the area of the epidermis and the cuticle here we can see the subcuticular pathogen is developing only the area epidermis and cuticle the endoparasite further divided into subcuticular pathogen apple scab sub epidermal pathogen that is rust there is a rust pathogen coccinea graminis 
this is a telial stage of this paxnia graminis and this is restricted up to the sub epidermal area of the pathogen area only here in this remaining portion we cannot see the ramification of this uh, pathogen that's why this uh, type of endoparasitic is called as the sub epidermal pathogen then ecto endoparasites most fungi are spread into the into all the tissues of the plant organ either by growing directly through the cells as an intracellular mycelium or by growing between the cells as an intercellular mycelium here we can see the mycelial hypha is penetrated or developed in between the two cells of the host that's why this is a intercellular mycelium here also intercellular mycelium is given here a intercellular mycelium produces the hosteria that intercellular mycelium produces the hosteria and this hosteria this is thin like structure hosteria hosteria are developed by the hypha and that hosteria absorb the nutrition from the host tissue and another the intracellular mycelium here we can see the hypha of the arboscular mycorrhizal fungi penetrated through the host cells that's why it is a intracellular there is difference between intracellular and intracellular pathogen uh, that uh, ramifying pathogen <coughs> and next event of this disease development is reproduction plant pathogen are mostly the if we consider the fungal pathogen the fungi produces sexually as well as asexually the asexual reproduction takes place by the mitosis and we know from the mitosis there is development of the two cells and due to mitosis two mitospores are formed in fungi and if the sexual reproduction is concerned into the fungi then fungi produces the four meiospores four meiospores actually are the product of the meiosis then some parasitic higher plant reproduce just like the plant bacteria and molecules produces by the binary fission in binary fission there are from one single parent cell there is a production of the two identical daughter cells is two identical daughter cells which are formed from the parent cell exactly similar to the parent cell actually binary fission the name itself indicates binary means two fission means breaking formation of two daughter cell from the one parent cell that is actually take place in the bacteria and molecules reproduction type of reproduction then viruses and virus are replicated by the cell as we all know viruses are not itself have the capacity of the reproduction or replication when they are present outside the host but as soon as they get entry into the host cell then virus utilize the host machinery for its reproduction and nematodes are reproduces by laying the eggs then dissemination literally means spreading next event of this is development it is actually the transfer of inoculum either passive passive agency of transfer of inoculum a given example wind water insect man a given the example wind then a splash of water when the splash of water drop on the infected area the spores get outside forcefully due to the splash of the water in some animals then man some weapons are also act as a passive way for the dissemination of the inoculum whereas some power of the bacteria and pithium that is fungal spores expel forcefully that are the active means of dissemination means some fungi and some bacteria they itself develop or they itself disseminate from this is host to the healthy host that is a active dissemination then survival the survival of the pathogen take place through this way infected crop debris the pathogen may survive into the infected crop debris pathogen also survive in the seeds in soil in growing plants 
the infected material on host plant in propagate propagating material then the pathogen also gets survive into the alternate host as we already know the alternate host it is a space of the host other than the principal host on which parasite can survive then collateral host on collateral host the pathogen also gets survive collateral host means the particular host that help the pathogen to survive when the main host is not available then the pathogen may survive in the uh, form of the dormant structure their dormant structure are given sclerotia sclerotia means the actually the hard darking resting body of certain fungi that resting body is consisting of the mass of the hyphal thread sclerotia actually the structure of the mass of the hyphal cell then chlamydospores chlamydospores figure is given here chlamydospores actually the thick walled hyphal cell which function like the spores that's why it is called as chlamydospores these are the dormant structure the sclerotia and the chlamydospores by which the pathogen gets survive now let's summarize this whole seven events that actually happened during the uh, attacking or during the disease development even during the host pathogen interaction this is disease development first inoculation the seed may act as a source of inoculation the inside the seeds the pathogen are present that pathogen after absorption of the moisture if fall on the suitable host that develop their hosteria or mycelium absorb the nutrition from the host this is a penetration step then later on it develops some symptoms and from appearance of the symptom we can say there is development of the infection to the host infection in the form of the leaf spot or fruit rot then there is a complete taking over of this infectious pathogen to the host uh, on the host that is uh, we already given the term invasion the pathogen invaded into the host tissue then after the invasion by the sexual as well as the uh, asexual reproduction the uh, pathogen get develop by the mitosis way there is development of the different different polydiospores and by meiotic way there is development of the sexual organs then after reproduction there must be a dissemination or spreading of the pathogen if the disease is there the pathogens are spread by the different agencies like rain wind or water splash then pathogen gets survive on to the host by development of the different symptoms then this all the disease cycle will continue this is only happen due to the disease triangle meet the all the requirement as we already discuss that there must be a pathogen which should be a virulent one then uh, then host should be a susceptible one then environmental factor should be a favorable then and then only disease will develop thank you for your attendance thank you for your uh, kind cooperation if you not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel do like and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you thank you very much